Okay, welcome back everyone. It's Electrified 90s and what I'm going to talk to you about today is uh, the side puzzle quest Rushing Waters in a game called Thronebreaker. So here we are on the map and this is the puzzle. For any of those who haven't played Thronebreaker before, you should check it out. If you like the Witcher series, the Witcher books, really good game especially if you like Gwent a lot of this game uh, involves using playing Gwent uh, to win battles you start off as Queen Meave uh, who is the Queen of Lyria uh, and what I'm gonna do is go down here and go and fight these drowners uh, in the puzzle quest called Rushing Waters so I found this one really tricky um, so I wanted to thought I'd do a video for everyone so You've got to eliminate all the drowners, you can't let any of your cards die and the hint is it takes just one damage to turn an even into an odd. Now that will become more apparent when I go through to the next bit and show you what each card talks about. So there's special rules, so you have to, you have to follow the special rules. There's only one round in the battle so you can't pass, if you pass you lose the battle. Uh, and it's a custom deck so you can own no matter how many times you play this you will only be given certain cards the same certain cards to be able to complete this quest so here you go you've got a shortened battle you're in round three whoever wins this round wins so first thing that we want to look at is drowner cards so it says every turn on turn start if this if this unit's power is even switch rows and damage all units on the opposite row by two. So what that means is as long as they are even they will switch rows and attack whichever card I've got there. So the first thing you want to do is the, use the Arbalist and attack one of these drowners on the back row to make it an odd number. Then you want to end your turn. Then you want to use the Crushing Trap to make all the ones on the back row now be a three so they won't move again now and then we want to end our turn now we want to take away the arbalist and we're going to end our turn again and then we want to put down Wagenberg so Wagenberg damage all units on an enemy row by this unit's armor amount then lose the armor and then you gain one armor whenever a card appears on this row. So I'll talk you through how that's important in a second. So we're going to put him down and then end the turn. So this one's moved to the back now. So what we're going to do now is put down the war wagon. So what the war wagon does is it spawns two light infantry to the right of it. That means that it's going to then increase the Wagenberg's armor by three because it gains armor for every card introduced on this row. So what we're going to do is use the war wagon, pop it on this row, you can try to win them all, but you now you can see it's got three three shields that we can use. So if we click on wagon board, now we can then attack the drowners here, bosh, and it kills all of them except one. And again, because this one is odd, it, it can't switch rows to attack us. So it can't kill any of these um, cards. So then we're going to end our turn. And then we're going to use a Lyrian Arbalist. Pop him over One here. Bolt. Attach a Drowner. Kill him. He's dead. And that's it. Thank you for watching everyone. Uh, like, subscribe. If you uh, haven't checked out Thronebreaker before, I, I advise that you, you know, give it a look. Have a look at the reviews on it. Um, it's currently in the spring sale on GOG um, for just over five pounds. So if you are looking to get the game, normally it's around about sixteen, fifteen pounds. Uh, so try and go on GOG. I'm currently playing it on PC. It's a good game. I'm trying to get into it now. So I thought I'd do this video for everyone so that you're able to um, not get stuck like I did um, with this. It was more particularly to do with Wagenburg, the way that you use his ability. Uh, thank you everyone for watching.